Here's your update on Tropical Storm Barry. It is Friday, July 12, 2019. Hurricane season, the second named storm in the Gulf of Mexico. Right now it's a moderate storm with winds of about 50 miles an hour as of early morning. So far in the last day or so, what's been positive is the rain on shore, on land has not been extreme and we do not yet see feeder bands. You don't wanna see the feeder bands that's what can take extreme rain in over the same spots over and over and produce isolated tornadoes. The big picture trend though, when you look at the satellite, is the thicker clouds are offshore in the Gulf. That's where the heaviest rain is, but that is going to shift as we move through tonight and tomorrow as this system off of southeastern Louisiana moves inland. Focus on the forecast track, the forecast cone taking it possibly as a minimal hurricane inland, but also look at the bottom of the picture that shows you what each and every color means. Take for example the orange circle in the Gulf of Mexico, that indicates where the tropical storm force winds are right now. The red is a hurricane warning, the blue a tropical storm warning, and the yellow on the Mississippi coast, that's a tropical storm watch. There's also a storm surge watch there for the possibility of the impact going farther east of landfall. The biggest impact overall is going to be rain. The brightest colors in south central Louisiana show rainfall projections of easily 10 to 15 inches as we move into early next week. Some of those could be as high as 15 to 20 inches. So for that reason, there are flash flood watches for most of southern Louisiana, southern Mississippi, southwestern Alabama, and even parts of the Florida Panhandle. Isolated tornadoes are going to be a possibility right now it's not a high probability for today but that can increase as we move through the weekend keep a close eye on the threat of storm surge especially southeastern louisiana where it could be three to four to five maybe six feet of water above the ground and also a smaller storm surge on the mississippi gulf coast i'm meteorologist alan seals